thank you so much for watching Miss Angel Lee TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like we are on episode number nine if you're new to my channel and you're like what is she talking about I'm doing a whole series about these crazy people that um I allow lives in my house and then we also decided to move into another place together it was bad okay so all you gotta do is catch up on all of my other story times we're on number nine so that means if you knew knew you gotta go to number one and then go to number eight or whatever but don't worry i'm gonna still be right here so also while you at it go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below that way you don't miss my other videos also turn on your post notifications that way you can know next time i post hit that thumbs up button that way your girl could be out here in these youtube streets and everybody can know who i am okay so in my last story time i left off telling y'all how we decided to move to magnolia texas everything was good you know we moved in we got our stuff together it felt refreshing to be in a new area because at this point we have been um where we were initially which was in katy texas and I, I, I never mentioned that up until now but um, we moved from Katy, Texas, until, which is literally like Houston, but it's like outside, but it's really Houston still. Houston got a lot of small cities in it, so like, yeah. It was just new. Like, we had been out there for four years, and so even though it was kind of country, I never lived in the country before, so it was new for me. Katrina, she said that she used to live in the country before or whatever. And my husband, I don't think he lived in the country before. Days went by, I started noticing like, <laughs> bitch ain't got no type of stores around here. I mean, when I say no stores, they have one one grocery store and it was called Brookshire Brothers if you from the south you probably know what I'm talking about because um, I know they have other locations in other areas of the south but girl when I tell you country as hell overpriced as hell I was just like ain't no way like I, I cannot I'm not about to sit here and be wasting all my money at this raggy ass store that don't really have much that I even need <laughs> um so I ended up having to travel maybe like 25 minutes out to go to like Kroger's at that time I was a faithful delivery type of grocery girl right um but they didn't have that they didn't have that like I had Walmart Plus at this time in Katy, so I was able to get like free delivery and stuff. But the bitch couldn't even utilize that out there because they literally did not deliver to my address at that point. I have to go to the store quite often and I tried to make it to where I, I go to the store, you know, once a week, but you always forget stuff. And then, I mean, come on, like you live in a house full of kids at this point where it's like, that's 10 kids. We always needed something. And you know, of course they had a little Dollar General. Every every little country town got a Dollar General every five minutes up the block. <laughs> so, you know, they had that, but the Dollar Generals ain't even really half shit in there. Dollar General is empty as hell. I never understood that. Like why y'all got a lot of Dollar Generals, but it's never fully stopped, like never. I started to get used to, you know, the whole going to the store every other day. That took like, what, two hours out of my day. And then not to mention the traffic, it was so much traffic because they were doing construction. At this time I got off at five o'clock, so I'm getting off and going straight to the store at five o'clock and there's nothing but traffic because it's only one lane bitch girl it was a mess it was a mess i started to regret moving there real soon and not to mention don't don't get hungry at night bitch don't get hungry at night because if you get hungry at night your options are limited to none i was like wow this mcdonald's really closed at 11 p.m like girl I, i'm like okay i could get 12 or whatever but the mcdonald's closed at at 11 okay and i was just like yeah <laughs> this ain't gonna work <laughs> i can't even get a hot and spicy a large fry sweet tea i can't get none of that the only thing that was open was water burger if you're from texas or the southern area because i know like some other states starting to get water burger too but it's originated in texas not me talking like i'm from texas like i'm not from texas so that was the only place that was open and the bitch got tired of that like i got tired of it and then don't drive at night because you ain't gonna be able to see shit because there ain't no street lights <laughs> and no type of street lights at night so yeah i was doing a lot of fighting for my life but i was just like you know what hey we in this thing we're gonna have to live here for a, at least a year and i know we said we was gonna probably try to stay here at least for two years but I, you know it's not looking like two years it's barely even looking like it's gonna be a year to be honest but i couldn't do nothing but sit back and just try to enjoy myself it's the summertime right and kids are out of school for summer 
Uh, we got all of the kids, you know, this is July, it's hot as hell, it's Texas, y'all know Texas is just, it's a death trap, so, um, especially in the summertime, so we decided we wanted to take the kids to do something, because we try to at least do one big thing in the summertime with the kids, this particular year, we were like, okay, they just built a new water park in Houston, well, technically it's not in Houston, once again, it's an outskirts of Houston in the city called Katy, Texas. There was a water park called Typhoon, Texas, and it was newly built. They built it a couple of years ago, and so I have been saying I wanted to go there, or take the kids there, rather. We all bought tickets, and so I remember this day to be exact, because July 31st, 2022 girl that was the day it was like two days before that or a day before that beyonce had just came out with renaissance mm -hmm. so i remember all of that girl we pull up or whatever and get there and as we are walking in the water park why we see extra why is extra here not to say she gotta give my permission for other people to come but like she ain't telling me that this girl was gonna be here but i'm like okay whatever like that's her friend you know i would probably want my friend to come too because you know technically she is like the third wheel even though we got the kids too but it's like it's like her and then a married couple you know like i always thought about like how she felt about that that shit just would have felt really really awkward if i was in her shoes but apparently bitch she ain't mine okay so <laughs> she clearly invited extra and extra had her son with her because extra has one child so extra had her son and then i think it was an, another little girl which was her niece which coincidentally happened to be one of my sons or Santiago they happened to be his classmate or they went to school together something like that girl I don't remember but it was some shit like that and he knew her and so we get to walk in or whatever walk in the park and probably like five minutes into us walking Katrina she's like oh hey um me and extra we want to go so and so slide or, or ride something girl it was a ride that they wanted to ride and so she asked if we could watch the baby me and my husband had a, a wagon for my son and I'm like okay yeah that's cool like that's, that's not a problem that was really a red flag itself because bitch ain't no way ain't no way you came here to watch somebody else's child like you ain't got 50 million kids to watch over as well like what type of shit and when she asked me that i was just like okay i hope this is not about to be a problem because extra here because like i said she didn't tell us prior to that extra was coming and i hope extra ain't finna cause no extra shit to happen because her extra ass want to be at the damn water park with us time went on it got hotter it got hotter and it got hotter and katrina was no fucking where to be found i call her no answer and i'm just like okay she must still be on the ride or she or whatever i don't know bitch bitch ain't answer though and i'm just once she didn't answer i immediately caught the attitude because i'm like i'm hot as hell um i can't really do much because i'm watching my child as well as another child and my husband he can't really do much because he got the other child and gotta watch the other kids so it's just like we, we we can't really do shit can't really move around or enjoy ourselves really because we have another child to watch over it was a lazy river and my boys wanted to get in the lazy river but they they were what uh fuck three and four at this time so obviously they couldn't go by themselves we decided to take turns and he was gonna go take one child and then come back and then take the other child while i sat there with the baby and my other child in the heat just fucking looking stupid and that shit got old real quick so i was just like fuck it let me just try to get in oh and i forgot to mention my aunt and her husband they ended up coming out to the water park too so i ended up putting my phone in their locker that way it wouldn't get wet or anything like that because i was thinking about trying to just do it anyway but then that didn't work out i got anxiety it was just too many people i'm just like no like don't even worry about it i'm just gonna sit here and y'all just gonna do y'all thing <laughs> i also couldn't call katrina at the time because i didn't have my phone and then my aunt i had to wait for them to come back around in order for me to get the key for the locker and get my phone again i'm just sitting there annoyed i'm just looking around like i'm not really moving around because i don't want to be too far from my husband so i'm just still like looking around from where i'm at and just trying to see if i can put my eye on katrina at some point bitch couldn't find her at all so finally ended up getting my phone out the locker and i noticed she called me one time and so i called her back <laughs> and the bitch didn't fucking answer again at this point i was ready to go my kids they kind of was already tired anyway we had been out there for a while and it was hot girl when i say it was hot it was deadly hot it was hot 
it was so much fucking hot that I'm just like, look, I gotta go. I'm just about to start walking to the car, and then Katrina just gonna have to meet us. And so, um, as we were walking, my aunt ended up calling me. It was like, oh, hey, I have found Katrina. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, where she at? She was in line with extra trying to get on a water slide. I'm just like, bruh. Why are you not trying to figure out where your kid is? Like, why are you just still constantly getting on rides and not giving a fuck where your child is? Like, you're, you're a baby. Like, at this point, she was, what, uh, two, one and a half, two, two years old, almost two, rather? Like, why are you not trying to figure out where we at? Why are you getting on more rides? Instantly annoyed, even more. And I'm just like, fuck it, tell her we going to the car. Like, that's where we going, because I, I can't do this. And so, child, and then we fucking park away in the goddamn back, so not only is we dragging a wagon <laughs> full of kids it was a long ass walk and i don't know if it was just seemed long because it was super super hot outside or what but girl it was it was hot i'm feeling sick finna fall fuck out i just knew i was finna hit that damn pavement bitch my husband he feeling like he finna fall the fuck out because he had as fuck too bitch we both finna have heat strokes with other people kids it was a hot ass mess but bitch we made it to the car thank god we turned that ac up i was in my car because we had two separate two separate cars at this point because my car my husband took his car so he got some of the kids in his car and i got some of the kids in my car um and girl i was i was just laid out legs wide open bitch ac blasting <laughs> on the lowest it can go i was hot i just knew i was dying that day i just knew it, it was time for us to bring my stepkids home um they had to go home at a certain time we were in a rush trying to make sure that we got them home in time and so this bitch taking all damn day finally i don't know how long it took her but the damn show wasn't 10 minutes it wasn't 15 minutes and it wasn't 20 minutes either bitch so the bitch like i said she was in line she was in a long ass line at that trying to get on a ride and so she finally came or whatever and then she could she didn't even have her kids like she just came to the car because she knew we were waiting on her um because her kids were roam, roaming around the park and well her, her boys rather and they were doing their own thing so she had to come to the car just to get the baby and then go back and try to find her boys and then go home oh girl if i could have slapped the piss out of her that day i would have i definitely would have that was the first time she genuinely pissed me off like other times like at this point i didn't have really anything negative to say about her other than like she probably could have did a, a little bit better whenever it came to disciplining her kids or something like that but th at this time that wasn't even an issue uh, oh and not to mention she was on the lease in this house as well i didn't mention that in the last video but this house she was actually on the lease of so just keep that in mind we finally driving home and girl when i tell you that was a long drive home because I, I was mad as hell <laughs> i'm still hot i'm still recovering from i have about to have a damn near heat stroke and i gotta but i gotta keep my shit together because i got all these kids with me so a bitch can't really die like that's the thing about being a parent like you can't you can't die like dying is ain't an option because like these kids <laughs> the fucking kids need you so what the fuck so i'm just like trying to recover from pretending that i'm not about to die because i wish i was i ain't tell the kids this the kids ain't no shit my husband did but the kids ain't know i was about to die <laughs> so i'm trying to keep my shit together and all of this shit waiting on her ass girl i'm mad as hell driving home and then not only that the drive was far as fuck because we lived in the country so the drive was at least an hour maybe i ain't even much gonna give it an hour maybe 45 minutes but it seemed really really long because we have to drive down these long ass country one way streets and shit and you know it, it wasn't up the street type of thing had we still lived in Katie, then yeah we probably would have been home in like 10 15 minutes anywhere we went from our house if it wasn't like to the damn gas station or if it wasn't to that country ass store or if it wasn't to that damn mcdonald's that closed at 11 o'clock or that damn 24 hour only water burger that they got up in there everything else is far away after we got home you know me and my husband pillow talking i'm just like yeah i would never go anywhere else with her again anything that got to do with outside heat water park i don't know what it was it had to have been extra that got into her and she like oh i got my friend with me so i'm about to live my hot girl ass summer at this you know water park with my titties and all my ass all out and shit like i ain't got kids i just knew in my spirit like i would never go anywhere else with this girl and her kids again like it's just it's just never gonna happen again like she just fucked it up we're trying to do this whole you know blended family or whatever the fuck you want to call it type of shit and the shit didn't work like it, it just didn't work in our favor and i was i was okay with just never ever doing anything with her again i was just like you know i ain't gonna make a big deal about it i brushed it under the rug like it ain't never happened 
and just hope for the best for the rest of these 12 fucking months that we got well no at this point 11 months that we got left in this lease because bitch it's gonna be a long lease okay moving forward um I'm, well not moving forward actually i'm gonna back up for a second may of 2022 i just randomly had baby fever and um, i was on birth control at this time it's actually a joke my, my husband was joking with me about something and he was like oh you want to try for a girl and i was just like <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I do. Um, he was like, okay, let's do it. I was just like, okay, well, I gotta get my birth control out and this and that. And so the next day we ended up talking about it. My husband was like, wait, you was for real? Like, I was just joking, but you for real? And I'm just like, I thought you was for real because I'm for real too. So you're not for real? Because I'm for real. <laughs> kind of got my feelings about him. Just like, damn, like, I feel kind of played because I thought he was for real and he not for real. But I'm for real, so let me just see if I can convince him to be for real too. <laughs> Long story short, I ended up getting my birth control out in May of 2022. And I was gonna do a whole like thing, like a whole TTC. <laughs> I hate that word so bad. <laughs> I hate it so bad. My best friend would know exactly why I hate this word. I was gonna do this whole TTC thing um but which is the reason why i even have this footage and y'all getting ready to see it but i had like recorded a whole sit down type of thing in a car just telling y'all about the whole experience and stuff i like as i start editing this video that would be the first time that i've seen that video since i recorded it like i totally forgot about that video and i didn't even think i would actually even show y'all but a bitch like me i don't delete shit so even if i don't use it like it's still gonna be in a vault somewhere it's definitely in a vault and i'm pulling it out and i'm show y'all a bitch just did something really really like crazy that i've never expected to ever do ever in my life but i did not ever in my life well i didn't expect to do it ever in my life after the time i have my last baby two weeks ago if you would have asked me if i wanted to have another baby i would have cussed you clean the fuck out because don't disrespect me like that i could do one more just one more hey we're here now we're just gonna have a big ass fucking family yeah, yeah. bitch really got that birth control took it out i ain't gonna lie what also triggered it as well is my favorite doctor my favorite OBGYN, the doctor who delivered my first daughter when i was 16 the doctor who, who delivered my son as well um, Santiago, she didn't end up delivering Junior because she was actually out of town, bummer, but she was my, my doctor throughout the entire pregnancy. Um, but she ended up moving in the middle of my pregnancy with my fourth child, and so I was really, really sad about that. So I ended up having to go to like somebody else, which she was cool too, but a year or so later, I like stalked my doctor. <laughs> I, st I don't know why I did this, but I stalked this lady on Facebook. I was like, let me see if I can look this up, because her name was kind of unique, right? Why I found her, and why I messaged her, and why she said she was back in Houston, I was like, oh, praise God. Yeah. So that was like another thing that kind of like, also encouraged my decision because she is like the mother of my vagina like she's so motherly but about my vagina <laughs> like she cares so much and um i really really love her i love her to death and i've been dealing with her since i was 16 and i'm 28 now so she been in my life for 12 years and i was like damn if i have a baby i definitely will want her to deliver the baby this time because i didn't get to experience that with the last two babies due to you know shit happening so i didn't tell katrina this or anything like that because honestly that wasn't none of her business like she may tell me what goes on with her coochie she wasn't finna know what was going on with my coochie you know she didn't know that we were like trying like nobody really knew we were trying other than like maybe my husband's family members and um my mama maybe yeah my mama she she knew yeah she knew and she was excited too because um you know she didn't really get to experience the last two babies or the last two pregnancies due to y'all know why um if y'all want to know what happened to my mama if you knew my series and you don't know what went on with my mama go to my other story time series i think i have a playlist if i don't have all of my story times and grouped up in playlists i'm gonna take care of that asap my son junior he went to pre-k it was his first day of school ever and i was Oh girl, I was like so fucking emotional, bitch. Like, I was emotional as fuck, like crying. I was just really, really scared for him to go to school. Like, I was having separation anxiety because, you know, he had been home for the first four years of his life and now he's going off to school for the first time. Even though he was going to school with my son, you know, his brother, as well as Katrina's son, like they would all get on the bus together. Um, I still was just scared as fuck, so. 
I was just super, super emotional. My husband was like, girl, is he gonna be all right? Like, what you doing all that like, crying for, bitch? Our bitch was crying, okay? The morning before the, his first day of school, I just woke up one morning. It was time for them to get up for school. But when I woke up, I felt nauseous. I felt like I hadn't eaten anything for a couple of days. Like, my stomach just felt weak. And I was just like, bitch, take a pregnancy test. I had, like, the pregnancy test strips from Amazon because the bitch was like, you take tests, multiple tests to kind of progress and see. But at this point, I didn't early test or anything because I had, the two months prior, I was early testing and I wasn't getting pregnant. So I was like, fuck this, I'm not about to early test. Yeah, I was tracking my ovulation. I had, like, the ovulation test strips and a little app or whatever, but I wasn't about to be trying to test for pregnancy prior to me missing my period or anything like that but this day was like the day before that my period was supposed to start so i'm just like let me just take a test because i just feel i don't know i just don't feel right girl test was positive i'll show y'all the picture two months later after giving get my birth control out two months later bitch was pregnant and the crazy part about it is that same the day before actually i have bought this wine it was this strawberry what was it? Strawberry mango or, or strawberry something? Girl, it was some 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 wine that it was. It looked like it was gonna be good, <sighs> but I didn't get to drink it that night because I was tired. <laughs> and so the next morning, found out I was pregnant, and so I ended up having to get the goddamn wine to Miss uh, who I was about to call her Miss Nancy. Okay, quick story. I call her, she has a nickname, okay? She like, between me and my best friend, cause we kinda like talk about what we'll be going on. My best friend really is the one who have taken me throughout this entire, this entire, this entire process, like this entire thing. Like she has been the, the reason why I didn't click the fuck out or snap on none of these motherfuckers in this house. So, um, man, what was I saying? Why did I bring that up? Talking too goddamn much. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. So, yeah, me and my best friend had this little insider joke. Um, I call her Miss Nasty because the bitch was nasty. Like, you know, so um, that's, I, I'm saying this because I almost called her Miss Nasty. I was going to name her this for the story time, but I'm going to keep it cute, even though she didn't keep it cute. But I'm going to keep it cute, and I'm going to just stick to Katrina. I think I have a couple of voice notes that I sent my best friend about some of these situations that I want to share with y'all. So, if you ever hear me say the word for the name Miss Nasty, just know I'm talking about Katrina ass, okay? But yeah, I ended up giving the wine to her. I didn't tell her why at this time. You know, I didn't want to tell her yet. And that's why I was so damn emotional. Like, I probably would have still been a little bit emotional even if I wasn't pregnant because, I mean, it's my baby. He's going to pre-K for the first time. But I was real, real emotional that day, okay? Before anybody started school, we, we gave the kids a lecture. We told them, look, don't miss no bus. We didn't want them missing their bus because at this time the school wasn't as close as the schools were whenever we lived in Katy. Like the kids' schools were literally across the street from our neighborhood. So if they were to miss a bus, like it would be nothing to just bring them to school, right? But because we lived in the country and because the country had schools that were like maybe a minimum of a 10 minute drive, depending on if it's traffic or not, we were just like, look, don't miss that bus because I gotta work, your mama working my husband working like don't miss no bus because if y'all miss the bus y'all just gonna be at home and y'all gonna be doing chores and homework it really wasn't our kids i'm just be honest with y'all my our kids ain't never miss the bus it was steven okay steven was the main culprit um he would miss the bus a lot whenever we were in katie so honestly that rule really stemmed from his ass but we have to make it a thing like we're telling everybody you know we don't want to just single him out because still it still applies to the other kids but it really applies to him because he's the reason why we created that rule in the first place and so uh katrina she was all down for it she was like yeah like don't miss no bus like she agreed with everything like we even talked to katrina about this prior to his, prior to us telling the kids this so she already knew what the the game plan was right like the second day of school steve ended up getting on the wrong bus he ended up getting on the middle school bus he ended up getting lucky though because after they realized that he was on the wrong bus they were like okay it's okay we'll just drive you to school so you know they drove from the school or whatever and we're just like oh that was that was a big one but you know i would have brought him to school like for that for that reason or whatever like that was a honest mistake one of these particular days this was like a couple of maybe two months or so after like everybody in their routine everybody know what time they bus come you know everybody good even miss the bus again katrina she still worked overnight at this point so 
Katrina is at work while he while the kids are getting up for school. You know, I'm making sure that I don't wake Steven up still. He's, he gets his own self up. But he knows that he had to, his responsibility was to make sure he gets up early so that he could take the dogs out before he goes to school and then, you know, get on the bus, right? So Steven had a bad habit of getting up late, dragging his ass, not doing what he's supposed to do, and this particular day he missed the bus he texted me and asked me did i have to work and i told him yeah i do have to work why what's wrong at this time i'm thinking he had school like I didn't, I didn't know he missed the bus but he's like i missed the bus and i'm just like oh i'm not gonna be able to take you to school because i gotta go to work 7 a.m i have to be to work i couldn't even put my own kids on the bus at this time because i have to go to work that early i don't even know why he even asked me that but you know kids gonna still try you my husband he walked in the house from work because he normally gets off work around six ish or whatever and so he got home steven asks my husband who just came off of a 12 hour shift he asks my husband can he bring him to school and my husband like, no, I'm not about to bring you to school. You already know the routine. Like, no, I'm not. My husband was like, do your mama know? And Stephen was like, yeah, she knows. She asked me to ask you. And I'm like, I know damn well you ain't ask this boy to ask my husband. Could he take your kids to school after we didn't already agree what we was going to do in the first place, specifically because the schools and around the corner. And specifically, like, why are you missing the bus? Like, I could see if it was an accident. You missed the bus because you were dragging ass. That's the that's the only reason. That's the only other logical reason, right? My husband said no. So, girl, I'm at work. And maybe about an hour or so later, I hear Miss Nasty. Oh, Lord, why am I calling this girl this? I told you I wasn't going to call her this. <laughs> maybe I should because she's definitely going to live up to that one. About an hour later, she comes in the house. And I noticed Steven, he's coming downstairs as well. So my husband, he was sitting on the couch behind me while I work and um, just was talking to Katrina and was like, yeah, you know, he missed the bus, da da da. She's like, yeah, I know. I'm getting ready to take him to school. Hmm? Like I told y'all in other story times, Katrina didn't get off work till like 12 noon. So the fact that she's at home at eight o'clock in the morning, like, the fuck so come to find out girl katrina took off she 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 got off work early just to specifically bring steven to school now katrina worked in katie follow me here y'all katie is about 45 well at this point she was deep deep in katie so she worked at least an hour away tops so you mean to tell me you got off work and and don't get me wrong you do what you want to do with your child that's that's you you know what i'm saying but is you gonna do that every single time so every time your kid Miss the bus, you're gonna miss out on your dollar because your kid, your high school child, he, he he's not in no elementary, y'all. He ain't in no middle school. He's a high schooler at this point. He's in 10th grade at this point. We'd have this rule in place to specifically teach them responsibility, not to be mean or anything, but just to be teaching responsibility. That's you, you need to make sure you get your ass up. And, and go to school because when you get out here in these streets and you be, you be on your own, you gotta get your ass up and go to work, right? But now you want to baby him and you want to get off work early. Okay, cool. So she, she left and she took him to school and I was just talking to my husband. I was just like, tuh, couldn't be me. I wonder if she going to do that next time. I wonder how many times she going to do this because there's going to be another time that he misses his bus, especially if he know that his mama just going to save him. That was another situation that was like, okay, giving her the side eye again. This wasn't what we agreed on. Like you trying to, you basically telling these kids or showing these kids that, you know, they could just get away with whatever, but you know, that's her kid. She do whatever she want with hers. We do whatever the fuck we want with ours. We're gonna move into the next month, which is September. And September is September 4th to be exact. It's, you know, if you know, if you're a Beehive fan, um, that's Beyonce's birthday. <laughs> but I'm about to fuck it up for y'all real quick. Not only is it Beyonce's birthday, bitch, but it's Katrina's birthday. So every single time y'all saying happy birthday to Beyonce, y'all gonna think about Katrina ass because of me. <laughs> For her birthday, she definitely showed her ass. Her actions show us more than enough to really just say, yeah, we ain't much gonna do this no more with her. But again, we were stuck in the, we, we, we had 11 months to go. Well, at this point, since we're, we're about to move into September, at this point, we have, what, 10 months left. <laughs> and that, that was the mark where i really was like yeah i'm not doing this no more with her like i'm ready can we break this lease like these next couple of situations really 
gonna have a bitch on edge because a bitch was ready to fight. I was ready to fight. I was ready to fight kids. I was ready to fight a lot of people. The house of the ops. That's what I called it. But I'm gonna stop right there and uh, we'll talk about that in the next story time or in the next video rather because I am sleepy. Um, and I gotta edit this video for y'all. So that being said, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so that you won't miss the next story time. Also hit that like button so everybody can know who the fuck your girl is. And hit that notification bell that way you can be notified the next time your girl posts. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram because I'm thinking about doing a little something something to it. Like I do like a little close friends for just like my subscribers. Just know I'm figuring something out. I'm working on something. And in the meantime, you just need to go ahead and follow my social media. So um, that being said, I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all in the next video.